Hello guys, let's talk about the TP-Link Tepo setup. So I have here the C100, that's the camera. And here is the quick guide. So the quick start guide has the information to download the, the app. So basically you scan this and you download the app just like I have here, okay? So the first time that I'm setting up this camera, then I click here on open. And the first thing that I need to do is to confirm that I agree with the terms and I click here and continue, okay? And then I need to create a TP-Link ID or I need to log in into my account. And here I'm going to create a TP-Link ID, right? So I click here and I start the process selecting my country and my email. And there you go, after entering the country and the email, you just need to set it up your password and click sign up. I agree with the terms and confirm. There we go, the email has been registered. I just click sign up. It's asking me again, I don't know why. Oh, I need to click here on login. There we go. Now I have my email and my password. I just click to login and remember me so I don't need to do that all over again. And here we go. Now I have my brand new Tapo version three, that's the app. You can learn more about it. I'm just gonna click here to close it. And here you go, that's the app. And then I need to add a device. So I have the camera here already working. It's connected to power, as you can see here. There's the cable. I just connected it to the power supply and I'm good to go with this camera. So here I just come here to this plus signal sign and add a new device. And here I already gave permission to look for my camera in the local network. So I click here and I'm going to select the camera. So basically this is an indoor camera. I click here and this is the Tapo C100. There we go, the first one here. And it says to connect to the power and see if it's blinking here in red, red, red and green. It is not right now. Let me just disconnect to the power and connect it again. There we go, disconnect the camera and connect it again. Now I'm gonna wait, there we go, it's blinking red, now it's steady, ready for now, just wait for a while, now it's blinking, right? The way it's supposed to blink. Then I just click here to continue, allow the app, to connect. Now I go to, I need to go to the uh, Wi-Fi settings and find the cameras, connect directly to the camera, right? Basically connect to the camera's Wi-Fi. So let me just do this, I select here, and I need to find the camera. Here we go, I have the top of cam. I click on it. And I come back. So now it's looking for my device. There we go, it found my device. Now I need to select the network. So let me just select here my network and enter the password. There we go, my network, I just click next. I confirm the information that's here and click next again. And just wait for the app to connect to the camera. Connecting to Wi-Fi. So I just heard the message, connecting to Wi-Fi. Okay, got the message Wi-Fi connected, pairing your top of device. There we go, I need to give the name, uh, name of to the device, right? So I can select any name that I want here. Let's just leave like this, Tapo, Tapo 100, C100, right? Click next here, a location, I can use any location that I want. Let's say bedroom, that's okay, just for testing. And then I need to select an icon for this camera. Let's just select this one. That's good, next. And it's finishing the configuration. Complete, sounds good. And then it's offering to have a plan with a tip link. I don't want this, I'm gonna skip. And got it. Let me just put the camera here at a different position so we can see it And here recommends to insert an SD card. I'm gonna do that later. And I click got it. 
in a firmware update, you can update the firmware in three in the morning. If I select the option, there we go. And just click got it and wait for the camera to connect. There we go, camera is connected and then I can turn on the two-step verification or maybe later. I'll just select maybe later and click next. Agree here with the terms. Click next again and it's finished, right? So I have my camera, it's supposed to be working. So here I have it, topo, see a hundred in the bedroom and click go. More information here about the camera. It's a long process, but and then I have some explanation here about how it works. And I'm good to go. It's connected to the camera right now. Tap to refresh so I didn't get image the first time. Let's try again. One more time. For some reason it's not working. Okay guys, after the setup, I got the message type to refresh several times. Then I had to disconnect the camera from power and connect it again. And then I got the camera working here, okay? So I'm going to update the firmware. I see some people doing the same. I was reading about it here on my computer. I see some people updating the firmware and I'm got to do the same. But basically the camera is working right now and it works pretty fine, okay? So that's the quick setup for this TP-Link Tepo. And I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to this channel, leave your thumbs up and your comments, and I see you in the next one.